Gail Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. Brought to you by... little town, so old-fashioned and quaint. Decadent is the word. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mooney. Well, there isn't even a porter here to take my baggage. Well, I'll carry it for you. Oh, please, Mrs. Tom. <laughs> I don't want people to see me letting a woman carry my baggage. Well, I carried it when we got on the train. <laughs> that was last night. It was dark. <laughs> Uh, no, no, thank you, son. Oh, look, Mr. Mooney, your picture's on the front page. Well, I'll be... How much is that paper? A nickel. Uh, do you have change for a dollar? No, sir. Oh, that's okay. You can pay me next time. Oh, here, here, son. Here's a quarter. Keep the change. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> it's all right. Paper! My, that was very generous of you giving that boy a quarter. Oh, he seems so nice and trusting. <laughs> yes. Well... <clears throat> Don't forget to remind me that I owe you a nickel. <laughs> oh, well. What does it say about you? Well, Banker Theodore Mooney arriving in town to confer with Highway Planning Commission. Yeah, that sure is nice of them putting your picture in the paper, huh? Well, they should. I worked hard to convince the Highway Commission that a freeway through Main Street here would bring this town progress and prosperity. Oh? Mm-hmm. I thought that you wanted the freeway through here so you could build your big shopping center. Mrs. Carmichael, I assure you, my motives were most honorable and in the best interest of the community. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael! I didn't say anything. I know, but I don't like the tone of what you're not saying. <laughs> Look, the brass band. Well, I didn't expect a welcome like this. How about that? <laughs> my hometown. I was raised here. No kidding. Yeah, my folks are pretty upset about this freeway situation, so I, I thought I'd pay him a visit and cheer him up. Oh, how nice. Take this is my boss, Mr. Mooney. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to meet you. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Tink and I live in the same apartment house in L.A. We're very good friends. That figures. <laughs> uh, Mel's a musician and a composer. Oh, you ought to hear all the music he's composed. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> well, I, I wrote the march that the band was just playing. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's it called? Mooney, go home? <laughs> uh, well, no, sir. There's no title or lyrics to it. It's just a march. Well, I think it's very catchy. Da-da-dum, 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 da-da-dum. Mrs. Da -da Mrs. Carmichael, please, please, please. Look, I was supposed to meet a member of the planning commission named Weber. Can you tell me where I can find him? Oh, well, he just passed here with the band. <laughs> He was in that welcoming committee? I'll point him out to you. Uh, Mr. Weber. Mr. Weber. Here he is. Hi, Mr. Mooney. Are you Weber of the Planning Commission? I am. 
Well, um, I was supposed to meet with you, it seems to me. Well, yes, you were, but I marched with the band because if I don't march, they don't have a tuba. Oh, why, why were you marching with the opposition? Well, uh, you see, here in Bancroft, we don't let political issues interfere with the reason for having a parade. Well, <laughs> I didn't come here to see a parade. I was to have a private meeting with Mayor Adler and one of the local representatives of the Planning Commission. Oh, well, uh, that meeting has been postponed till 2 o'clock on account of the parade. Oh. Uh, say, uh, would you excuse me? Uh, band don't sound so good without a tuba. Uh, well, take your tuba and blow. <laughs> I suppose we better check in at the hotel if we can find it. Where is it? I said oh, it is in this place. Now, look, but we have no porter here, but no, let me I help don't. you with the bags, okay? Well, that's very nice I'd of you. I'd be more than happy to yeah, take it. Well, thank you very you. much. Excuse Mine's me, would it. you carry this for yeah. me, please? Yeah, watch that. <laughs> for showing me around this darling little town. Gee, you know, it's been a long time since I've seen a dry goods store and a blue park like that, and... Oh, it's so adorable, this place. Oh, that's heavenly. What do you mean, the fresh air? No, I smell hot bread. <laughs> oh, there's our bakery right there. Oh! Oh, I gain weight just looking at that window. <laughs> oh, isn't that divine? This little park is so cute. Take, what do you call those things? I've forgotten. Oh, that's a, that's a gazebo. Gazebo. I haven't seen one of those in years. You know, this is where we're going to hold our town meeting tonight. Oh, really? Oh, gotta see Doc Putnam's drugstore. Where is it? It's right over here. Come on. Now, no tour of Bancroft to be complete without a visit to Doc Putnam's. Why is that? Well, let's take a look. Now, uh, to most people, this might just be another drugstore, but here in Bancroft, this is our main street, a go-go. <laughs> oh, well, let a go-go in. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, I just love it. It's so old-fashioned. A coffee grinder. Oh. Oh, smell that. <laughs> oh, and look, penny candy. Do you know I can remember when you could get a penny's worth of candy for a penny? Amen. <laughs> What's going on there? Oh, that's a chess game. Now, that's, that's Doc Putnam. He owns a drugstore. And that's John Bubbles. Uh -huh. Now, those two have been at each other's throat over that chess board for the last 20 years. You're kidding. Who usually wins? I don't know. The game isn't over yet. <laughs> Who's the other gentleman? Oh, now, that's old Uncle Joe. Hey, he's 105. You gotta be kidding. True. <laughs> I think I'll take my knife and move it over here and block off your vision. Oh, well, fine, fine, and I'll just capture your queen. Hold it, hold it. I said, I think I'll move it over here. <laughs> Did two move it? I did not. I just jiggle it over there. And a jiggle is not a move. <laughs> well, it is when you jiggle it all the way over to another square. Well, I jiggle it all the way back, didn't I? You, oh, I'm not going to play with you anymore. You keep moving these chess pieces around like they were flying saucers. I didn't move anything. I just jiggled. You <laughs> look Now, here's a complete stranger. Now, we'll let her decide. Mitch, did he jiggle or did he move? Well, uh, I'd say he half jiggled and half moved. <laughs> what kind of an answer is that? The lady means it all depends on your point of view. Right, ma'am? Yes, sir. Oh, that's ridiculous. Look, either he jiggled or he moved. <laughs> Not necessarily. For instance, take this bottle of whiskey. Now, a pessimist would say it was half empty. An optimist would say it's half full. <laughs> Is 
that how he got to be 105? <laughs> hey, Doc. Yeah? Uh, how about fixing us a couple of sodas? Oh, huh? yeah, yeah, coming right up. Don't you do any jiggling while I'm gone. <laughs> jiggle, jiggle all the time, jiggle. <laughs> get, get, get done. <laughs> well, what do you have, folks? Uh, what do you recommend? Well, I usually have a strawberry ice cream soda. Oh, it sounds wonderful. All right. <laughs> Two strawberry ice cream soda. Oh, and Doc. Huh? In a clean glass. In a clean glass. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, Doc does pretty good on the washing, but lately he don't see so good when it comes to the rinsing. <laughs> he sees pretty good when it comes to jiggling. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Miss Carmichael, uh, this is John Bubbles. How do you do, Mr. Bubbles? Hello. Uh, old Uncle Joe's asleep. Oh, already? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Bubbles used to own the garage here, but he, uh, he sold it and bought the livery stable. The livery stable? I thought horses were practically extinct. I bought the living stable so I'd have more time to catch up on my hanging around. Uh. <laughs> well, that gives you an idea how the folks around here feel about progress. Yeah, you know something, I appreciate a small town after all the hustle and bustle of the big city. Yeah, it's, it's a shame they're gonna bury it under a freeway. Well, are you sure it's a lost cause? You still have that public meeting tonight with the highway commission. No, 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 that meeting won't do any good. Why not? Well, you know, the local people here in Bancroft just figure they can't fight City Hall. Well, then why did you bother with all those signs and that big parade this morning? Oh, well, brass bands and parades are very big here. <laughs> but you know, when it comes to politics and speeches, that's something else again. See, this isn't like an election. No matter what the local people want, the Highway Commission calls the shots on a freeway. Well, I think that's ridiculous. Boy, if I lived here in Bancroft, I'd find some way to convince the Highway Commission that they're making a, a terrible mistake. They are just going to ruin this beautiful little town. We already had one meeting with them to discuss the issue of pro and con. What happened? Those highway officials are pros when it comes to con. <laughs> uh, well, folks, here's your two strawberry ice cream soda. Oh. Who ordered the clean last? For the ladies. <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Doc. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, boy, that's what I call a real old-fashioned ice cream soda. <laughs> you know, this whole place reminds me of an ice cream parlor that was in my hometown when I was a little girl, especially the piano. Hey, Tink, play something for me, will you? It's been ages since I've heard you play. Why not? <clears throat> hey, Bob. Yeah. You know what this is? There were no skyscrapers in my hometown. There were no bright lights on old Broadway. There were no taxis out on old Main Street. No midnight cabaret. They were just plain people in my hometown. Always up with the chickens every morning. If a fella had a gal, he would not have to watch his pal. In the town where I was born. <laughs> hey, uh, how about some dancing? I'm ready when you are. Well, I just put your feet in my hands. You got them, just don't squeeze them too tight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? 
Well, come on down and hang around a while and I'll teach it to you. Yeah? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Now, just take your right foot. Lay it down low. Now, then your left foot. Don't add no more. No. Now, put them both together. That's the latest style. Now, stop. Rest a while. That's long enough. Come on. Hey, you can breathe easy on this case. Yeah. <laughs> Let's walk around a little bit. Present Mrs. Carmichael, my secretary. How do you do, sir? How do you do? Your Honor. Oh, Your Honor. And may I say that it must be quite an honor to be mayor of such a beautiful little town. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, your bank has even greater assets than I imagined. Oh, <laughs> no wonder you got elected. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, folks. Oh, hello, Mr. Weber. <laughs> Weber. I can tolerate a member of the Highway Commission marching with the protesters because the band needs a tuba. But do you have to wear it to this meeting? Well, I never can get it off after I eat lunch. <laughs> well, when you show up at that highway meeting tonight, you better have it starved off of you. Yes, sir. Now sit down. Yes, sir. Your Honor. Your Honor, may I say that I think it would be a terrible shame to put a freeway right down your main street. It is so beautiful. <laughs> you know, I visited all your shops, and I was in old Doc Putnam's drugstore, and, and I, I walked all around, and oh, I just loved the parade this morning. Da da dum, 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 da da dum. This, this, this is Carmichael, Webber. Yes, sir. One more blow and out you go. I'm sorry, sir. Mm. Now, Weber, where do you suggest putting the off-ramp? Well, I think the off-ramp... Well, I hope it will be where it will help the bank shopping center. Oh, it will. The highway department has said that the off-ramp will come right here, right through Doc Putnam's drugstore. Oh, you can't do that. Why not? Well, uh... How can old Doc Putnam and Mr. Bubbles play chess on an off-ramp? <laughs> and Mr. Weber, that brass band that you're so proud of, without Main Street, you know, you'll be holding your parades on a freeway. You'll start off with 76 trombones and wind up with one piccolo player. <laughs> but Mrs. Carmichael... Hey, I... Mr. Weber, you were born and raised here. These are your people. Can't you do something to get out of this mess? Lady, I can't even get out of this tuba. <laughs> What about you, Your Honor? Can't you do something? Mrs. Carmichael, will you keep out of this? I appreciate your sentimentality, Mrs. Carmichael, but I have to be realistic and consider progress. Progress. Well, if you ask me... Nobody asked you! I think we'd be making a lot more progress if we had a lot more wonderful little towns like Bancroft. What do you mean, we? You're not even a citizen here! <laughs> I'm not the only that feels like this, and you'll find that out tonight. Now, look, Your Honor, can't you convince the men on the Highway Commission that Main Street is, is, is more than just a street? Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a way of life. If I lived here in Bancroft, you know what I'd do. I'd get up a petition about this, and at that meeting tonight, I'd say, 
Who needs industry and commerce and all that highfalutin, air pollutant progress? <laughs> Energy doesn't get better just because it gets bigger. Well, thank you, Carrie Nation. <laughs> that was a very pretty speech. But the Highway Commission has already determined where that freeway is going, and you will not sway them, even if you take that cracker barrel philosophy of yours and set it to music. I think that is a very unfair attitude, Mr. Mooney. If you had... set it to music. <laughs> apparent by this meager turnout that the majority of the townspeople are in favor of a freeway in Bancroft. Therefore, I officially proclaim the approval of... Can be. 